Hey guys, Editing Vice here. The video you're about to watch is from a stream we did before the new information drop. That means in this video, I only talk about the things we see in the trailer and not about the new stuff. Just a heads up to prevent confusion. If you like the content, consider to subscribe and like the video. We will do more stuff when Sunbreak comes out. Enjoy! So, what do we see? The first thing I want to talk about is not the actual skills, but what we see right here. We see one thing, we see right here there is a red note played. And he attacks again and there is another red note. But he doesn't get a buff. Now he switches, another red note, no buff. What I think that means is Hunting Horn will get more songs with different notes. Maybe you have to play four reds, which would be way too much I think. But maybe you get different ones. Like World, you have to play red blue red for example that's what i think because you, you can clearly see that you can clearly see there's a red note there's another red note and now when he switches he plays another red note right there so that's three red notes in a row but he doesn't get any buff maybe this particular hunting horn doesn't have anything with red but also maybe the combos the, the notes itself are different in sunbreak which is nice to see, actually, so you don't have to play just two notes to get your buffs. Alright, let's go to the to the actual skill. Silkbind Shockwave. So you perform this, you use one wire buck, it seems like. Jump backwards. On the way up, you do a hit. And you buff. What that does is every attack, every single attack, you get an additional hit. I feel like with Sunbreak, they really like additional hits. This is time delayed, those hits. But what they say is major stun, exhaust and part damage. I don't know about the major part right there. But it's nice to see that Hunting Horn, which funny enough, has one of the worst stun build-ups in the game. Like look at the Magnificent Trio. 5, 5, 5, 10. This is really bad. This KO buildup is really bad. If you take a look at Greatsword, look at those tackle values. A tackle level 3 deals 55 KO buildup. And then you have something like Hunting Horn with his 5. The comparison just a weapon designed to KO does not KO. And the weapon designed to charge does more KO and every tackle you get hyper armor. So, <laughs> I don't know what they thought about that. But that's pretty much it. Like you can see the ticks right here. You can see there you, we hit with the first thingy. The delayed hit is really late. And then you get the, the big one on the head. And the additional hit is also on the head. I think it's not a bad skill. But there are better ones. The video also indicates one wire bug usage. And that's pretty much it. Now we go to the, to the swing combo. Which I'm not a hunting horn main. But this one just seems like the the encore combo from world just without encore. That's what it looks like. It could be a good repositioning tool because you go so much to the side. But other than that, yeah, that's basically it. I'm not super hyped for those skills. They look like they could be in the game for from the beginning. That's it. Hunting one was pretty fast actually because there's not a lot to talk about. I'm not a hunting on main, and I don't see the, the big value in those skills. For me, it's not something I'm hyped for. And the funniest thing is hunting horn is the only weapon that doesn't get any of those nice pictures from the side. Like those ones. Like here you have light bowgun and dual blades. What is this hype song? God damn. Jesus. Calm down. And you have those for like every weapon. You have one with switch axe and... I think charge blade and stuff. Hunting Horn doesn't have that. Those pictures do not exist for Hunting Horn. Sad life. 